Hi, I'm Gabby from Best Buy, and today we're going to talk about using the Dyson Link app with your Dyson Purifier HPO9. Here's what you'll need to get started. A Dyson Purifier, a smartphone with the Dyson Link app installed. I'll be using the Google Pixel 5. Make sure the purifier is already connected in the app. And for voice control, you'll need a voice assistant. I'll be using an Amazon Echo. All right, let's get started. The Dyson HPO9 air purifier automatically purifies air in your home by detecting and capturing particulate matter, like dust and smoke, volatile organic compounds from household cleaners, paints, varnishes, and nitrogen dioxide from burning gasoline or propane. But what makes this purifier stand out is its ability to not only detect, but then destroy formaldehyde, which is found in many household products, including glues, mattresses, pillows, and fabric softeners, to name a few. The Dyson HPO9 purifier also has convenient heating and cooling functions and incredible control over where the air is being projected. Pretty great, right? And the Dyson Link app makes controlling your purifier easy while also giving you a robust view of the air quality in your home over time. Here's how it's done. Make sure the purifier is already connected in the Dyson Link app. From the home screen, swipe up to see air quality. This graph updates every 15 minutes. This number, the PM 2.5, stands for particulate matter that measures 2.5 micrometers. For example, smoke would fall into this category. The PM 10 stands for matter that measures 10 micrometers. Things like pollen fall into this category. For context, a human hair is roughly 70 micrometers in diameter. Volatile organic compounds, or VOC, is another readout that detects harmful elements in the air. NO2 is the amount of nitrogen dioxide present. It usually comes from burning fuel like propane or gas. HCHO stands for formaldehyde. So that's how you find and read the air quality information. Now let's check out some of the basic features and controls, which are also found on the home screen. You can see the temperature and humidity for both, inside and outside, here. Also, when you're in the detailed view, you can track the air quality over time. There's some really great information in this view that makes it easy to analyze. The color changes based on the overall air quality. That, coupled with the HDHO indicator, lets you know the current levels at a glance. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see some of the common controls. Power, auto mode, fan speed, and oscillation control. Auto mode constantly monitors the air and reacts to pollution events to maintain optimal air quality. It will begin to increase the fan speed when it senses the pollutant in the air and return to idle once the air has been purified. Watch this. Pretty sweet, right? You can see more controls by tapping on the purifier button. Adjust the oscillation settings by tapping oscillation. Then drag the circle around to find the center point. Then you can set the rotation radius here. Other controls include airflow speed, an auto stop timer, and night mode, which is great when you're using it in your bedroom while you sleep. Night mode dims the screen and reduces the fan to a lower, quieter speed while still monitoring and responding to changes in air quality. You can also add Dyson skills to your Amazon Alexa account, so you can control the Dyson HPO9 purifier just by saying things like, turn on night mode, or set fan speed to three. One quick call out, due to require government safety standards, you cannot use the Dyson Link app to control heating. You have to do that on the unit itself or using the remote. And that's it. The Dyson purifier not only purifies your air by capturing all kinds of pollutants, even destroying formaldehyde, it's even more useful when paired with your smartphone. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech tips from Best Buy. Thanks for watching.